Here we have the histology of the brain tumor, which is composed of uniform, spindle-shaped, elongated cells arranged in the fascicular pattern. We typically see multiple small concentric calcifications called somoma bodies. These somoma bodies can also be seen on an X-ray. The tumor is also typically associated with uh, multiple small spiral-like or whorl-shaped structures. Also here, 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 and here. On a higher magnification, we can see that the cells are quite uniform and they have oval-shaped nuclei. In some of these nuclei, we can see pseudo-inclusions, which are these bubble-like structures. Sometimes we can see longitudinal nuclear grooves, like here, for example. Mitotic activity is typically very low, and this is uh, the typical histological appearance of meningothelial subtype of meningioma. This tumor is associated with meninges. It is slow-growing, and it has good prognosis. In case of brain tumors, we don't really talk about benign tumors because no tumor is benign if it's inside of your brain. But most of the cases are WHO grade 1 cases uh, with a good prognosis. We can recognize like million different subtypes of and histological variants of meningioma. And only some of them are clinically important because they have more aggressive behavior. So this is an example of meningothelial subtype of meningioma. And we also have, uh, for example, cordoid and clear cell subtypes, which are grade 2 tumors, and uh, rhabdoid and papillary uh, subtypes of meningioma, which are grade 3 tumors. And those are more aggressive and usually more mitotically active. Grade 1 meningiomas are typically well-circumscribed tumors with a pushing margin. However, they can sometimes infiltrate the bone tissue. Thanks for watching.